How many people did you have here? I need to know. Because it update. said only it was said there was only going to be two people, and he just said uh, it was just two of us. But we had one other guy come, you know, uh, and they responded. There's no way only three people drank this much. Hello, we're back. Another episode of Feeling Good with Duddy. Once again, we have an amazing guest, Rome Ramirez of Sublime with Rome. Hey guys. We've got some of your favorite segments. We've got a brand new segment. And guess who else we've got? The host, Duddy B. That's right. You heard it. We are back. And we are very excited to be here again this week with you. We have a very special guest, a great friend, an old guest of the show. We'll be bringing him on here in a second. Um, Other than that, right now, as we're recording this, we're about one week out from the Friends and Family Tour. Uh, We've been rehearsing a bunch and and just writing some music. Can't wait to get out there on the road. But when you're hearing this episode, I believe actually will be the very first day of the Friends and Family Tour. We're playing out in Albuquerque. So very excited. 26th of February. 26th of February. Next Wednesday. When you're listening to this, it'll be the 26th, and we will be out on the road for our first show of the Friends and Family Tour. And we are excited. A little nervous. Not going to lie. Yeah, but that's good. You know, we talked about this a lot on you know episode, or season one and stuff. It's like you got you got to do stuff in life sometimes that make you nervous. That's how you know you're pushing yourself. You know, you don't yep. you got to get out of your comfort zone and try some things. And and sometimes you might fail. Not this time though. Yeah, it's a, no. take every opportunity you can to be nervous. The older you get, usually the less nervous things you you just you're used to your life. You yep. get into a pattern. So <clears throat> when you have a chance to be nervous, it's kind of like embrace it. And uh, hopefully that you guys are doing that. Totally. Hopefully you're doing that, Duddy. But you feel ready, right? I do. I mean, somewhat. I'm, I'm about 70% ready oh, right shit. now. I still got some work to do, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it all started out really just acoustic guitar, mm-hmm. sitting there playing songs. But, you know, when we were doing that, it was to like 10 people. So it, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really just by myself sat on a stage and played acoustic and saying for the amount of people that I'm that we're going to on this tour mm-hmm. you know so it, it's it's scary but it's also it's going to be a good time Shit. Yeah. I never really thought about that till right now when you said that now I'm nervous <laughs> holy jeez <laughs> no it's good though it's, it's good. great That's yeah good. Like it's you, you're gonna me. do it and I mean, it's gonna go yeah. well so yeah you know what I mean with that being said, let's just bring let's out just our bring guests, on the other half sense. of the friends and family I mean, tour. Yeah, our guest today is old friend. Uh, he's been on the show before. Uh, he's he's part of the friends and family tour. He is half of the Rome and Duddy situation going on. Rome Ramirez. That's right, Rome Ramirez. Boom. What's up? Standing. Oh, shout out to the you. fellas in the band. <laughs> oh my god! What? At least he didn't say fam. Oh, I thought you did no. for a second. Dude, I saw hey. that clip you guys put up, and I just could not have agreed more. Oh, <laughs> we were, like, yeah. just talking about that, too. And then when, when I saw that, I was like, dude, yes, fam is, is done. You know? It's done. I, in in it context. It was fun. In context. Uh, what was his name? Tony? Was that the guest? Who was saying? Oh, no, that was Joel. Joel. He's, he, he said it best. Yeah. You know, like, yep. depending on who, the, who, like, the vessel of, you yeah. know, transportation, like, yeah, man. That, but when it's coming from like a fifty-year-old woman, you're just kind of like, <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> don't What's call up, me fam? You're like, don't Whoa, call me fam. <laughs> Please Mom? do not call me fam. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, dude. For, poor fam, dude. We've just been slapping Damn, that word around, around dude. Fucking, it's been rough this oh, season. Oh, yikes! It's been a bad. Twenty twenty is a bad year for the word fam Damn. already. Just don't buy that stock. Getting crushed, dude. So here you are, dude. How are you? Are you ready? Duddy said he's about 70% ready, <laughs> you know, for the friends and family. Because you're going up there alone, yeah. too. I Do mean, you guys you know are what? both. But I, I started that way. I so honestly feel different, like, you know? I feel like you're I, more used to it. Maybe. Yeah. You know, it's it's really weird. You know, I, I had a hard time finding, like, growing up, I had a hard time finding dudes who wanted to be in a band. Like, they wanted to be in the band, but they didn't really want to work as hard as, like, you know, the DH, you know, like... Mm-hmm. They, it took a long time before they were even like in a tour bus or something like that. Oh, yep. And for eight, most eight people, or nine like years of touring in the van, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And you tell that to people, and they're like, "Yeah, that sounds like fun." But like after like a year or two years, like the honeymoon phase wears off, and people are like, "Dude, I gotta, I, this isn't gonna work." You know, I'm, we're never gonna make money, mm-hmm. so they split. So for me, I, mm-hmm. I could always just rely on my acoustic guitar, and that's yep. even how I like paid the bills for a while. Was just 
you know, playing acoustic sets like three or four hours at a restaurant, um, covers, or and you know, I'd sprinkle in some like original songs that nobody wanted to hear, but <laughs> man, that, that <laughs> slide was, them that in, was dude. It, you know, but you know, to to at the same time though, like part of me is also nervous too because this is this is different. It's not just me for like an hour, you know what I mean? Which I know how to do. Yeah, it you know, it's 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 different because we want to create like a show like this isn't like um duddy goes on and plays his you know stuff i go on and play my stuff and then we go on and play hits like you know we're we're trying to create like a community kind of like like a communal kind of thing like if you go watch like um the last waltz which is what uh the band did it was like their final performance um it was like this really rad thing where it, it was like you know, people were swapping instruments. Uh, musicians who were local in town were coming out and featuring on songs, and and, and that's kind of like I think like the energy that we want to like, um, you know, that's what we're trying to like do. Mm-hmm. But and and that's where like the nervousness for me kind of comes in is like being able to make it like a show and not just like a just an acoustic performance. You know, it's mm-hmm. weird because here's the big difference too. Like everything. If you're playing at a little spot, it's kind of easy to make it feel communal. It, totally. it yeah. almost is like, hey, we're all just sitting in this room. It, it's almost like a house party. You can talk to everyone. And, yep. You know. Yep. This is bigger. There's going to be hundred. I mean, how yeah. many people are going to be at these shows? I, I haven't. How like well, we weren't hundred? expecting that. <laughs> like I think that you know they're like twelve hundred. They're twelve hundred. Oh, shit. You know? Yeah. So, they're, they're performing you know? arts theaters. Yeah. They're yeah. theaters. So you're going to be on a stage up higher. I mean, so so they cre- it's you're a, absolutely it's a right. Thing. It's it a creates different a different kind of pressure. But that's fucking awesome, and I love what you said i don't know if you have this yet like local people that are going to come and and join you mm-hmm. guys do you already have some of this stuff or no for this tour but you want to we have some people future. that like i will i want to reach out to and stuff like okay. you know when, when we're in the area but i mean everyone's always touring and stuff so that's that, that's like the whole I fucking like the sound so the that, answer to yeah. that is no yeah the answer to that is no <laughs> we do not <laughs> but here's the deal you said you want to create that yes. exactly you know, i think once you start doing this acoustic thing and you yes. find a way where people we, we got to get it up and going rad. first you yeah, know right, what i mean right. we don't plan on this being the only time we do exactly this. This i don't this see that either testing the waters yep. figuring it out making a game plan you know and and it'll grow and we'll grow as as it yeah. does you know you'll have different people come up oh that's my the God. whole I point love the idea you know i didn't know that until you kind of said that because i've been like, doing like like some interviews for like the radio stations that we'll be um like touring in and stuff mm-hmm. you know and they've been asking about it, you know. Uh, I haven't even had a chance to tell you about it, but like they've been asking, like, "Oh, is like you know this like the end of like Sublime, or is this the end of like Dirty Heads?" And oh, and it's God, like, no. But but <laughs> to some of these people, like when they read like the press release or whatever, like I guess people love headlines, man. And that's like I think where their heads naturally gravitate. Do we towards, live but in the hot take era? It's just say the wildest shit in that dude, headline exactly. so everyone to will click. Captivate, clip. right? Where yeah. People love and to jump the conclusions. Too, oh right? my goodness! Like, oh my god! People ask uh-huh. me if, like, if because of this podcast, this tiny, you know, like we're yeah. growing, but we're a small. People were like, "Is Duddy is the band still cool?" I'm like, "Are you dude, kidding it's wild. me? It's the wild. band it's will like, never die. That's exactly." The, everyone's yeah. thing and this is and, all extra fun shit and you know just to circle back on it, it's like this is literally like probably the most uh like just freeing musical project that we do mm-hmm. have and the struggle is to keep it that way yeah. yes you know because like like i said like we were we weren't expecting to perform in performance arts theaters you know, twelve hundred seater venue. And you're thinking like, we'll which do is some amazing. Big bar tour, and Dude, then all of a sudden it's like, boom. people, yeah. You know, you know wow. like it wasn't so already like it's becoming. And then when you start doing that, then like you know, agents are like, hey, you know, we can uh, festivals, and then like you know, like then there's like, oh, you guys should do an album and and radio, and then it's like, here it is becoming a thing. Mm-hmm. When it was very important for us, like even when we first talked about it, it was just like, let's just make like, let's just have fun. Let's yeah. keep this fun, and as that is the focal point, we have our bands. You yes. know what I mean. Yep. The focal point of this is like just keep it as fun as it can be, without it becoming like super successful. But you know, whatever happens, like you know, the, you know, it's, it's all up in the air. It's but like we've said on the show a thousand times: do something because you love it, and 100%. then maybe other shit happens. But don't be trying to do this huge thing. Just make sure you're yeah. loving it, and then Dude. it's fun, and then usually. 
that means people gravitate to it. I mean, we it. didn't even really know what this was when it started. Yeah, it got it doesn't seem really. Like it, it got pitched to like, hey, we because we had some time off. We saw there was like going to be this little gap in between what both of our bands are doing, and we had this gap. And our manager is Cheese. We both have the same manager. Um, <clears throat> And he just kind of, hey, do you guys want to do like a little two, two week, you know, run together where you guys can just go play some of your solo acoustic stuff? Maybe you guys put out a couple like, you know, solo acoustic songs or something. I was like, sure, that sounds super fun. And then as a little bit of word of that got out, it just rapidly. And then we like, did Stone Me. And then we did the Stone Me thing. And then uh, music gets it just got it, it kind of grew into this thing to where all the, like he said, the agents and management, they start seeing this thing. Well, hey, if you guys just do this little thing together, it could be this big thing. And uh, so part of you is like, cool, fuck yeah. And the other part is you're like, what? Well, what? <laughs> we want to keep this very natural <laughs> and organic. It all seemed like it became a bigger thing. And I'm sure the wheel must have been turning before this, but. Basically, all of a sudden, you guys are going to go on a mountain trip to write some music. And then all of a sudden, this Roman Duddy page is born on Instagram. And then all of a sudden, all these dope pictures of you guys in this mountain setting writing music for this mm -hmm. acoustic tour. And then Stone Me drops. And mm -hmm. so all three of these, th it, it was... It felt like, hey, this little acoustic tour that we're going to go yeah. dick off up the coast and come oh, back. We, and then all of a sudden, it's like we've got the mountain trip and we've got the Roman Duddy page. And so the mountain trip was how we made sense this? of it all. Yeah. So you guys. That was like just, us kind of like, OK, we got this big fat tour that's mm -hmm. now ahead of us. Let's go and figure out what like any of this even means, like what we're going to do. And then so. Honestly, that was like our orchestration right there. Like that was our way to get away from everything. It was like we he texted had, me straight so you up. You guys went up there in fear. Almost, yeah, you're like, then, oh fuck, dude! I I packed it. an entire studio. Like Duddy hit me up like earlier in the week and was just like, dude, do you want to get away for a couple of days and just like write some tunes and like come up with some song like starts and stuff, a set? And I was like, hundred percent. So we booked an Airbnb and I just. I grabbed like my full studio pretty much and just put it in his car and we we hit it, you know. He went up there and so you guys went up to like Idlewild. It's this little mountain getaway, yeah. and, you know, and you and you you immediately set up a little recording zone like you said yeah. and your brother was there filming to the document whole, everything to document yep, everything yep, yep. and did stone me did you say did it come out of that? You, no, I know you guys already had that. You guys had messed with that at our like live performance thing here we, we finished already, that in november yeah, yeah oh, we had already shit. had that recorded and that's kind of oh, how this all that's how it grew. all came about so everyone heard the song we were going oh, to do solo things it was going to be completely separate and I then we just on. for fun made that cover just for fun to and play we thought it'd be cool we can play this and then we showed it to our management cheese and he was like holy shit this is gold so that's what it did. people behind the scenes yes. heard stone me yes. and then said oops a daisy and then the wheel and starts then they're spinning like, nah, yeah. you guys need to just do this shit together. i see what's going yeah. on okay we like okay and we need to go to the mountains then and <laughs> we, we, need to find some like, we better get the <laughs> fuck out of dodge yes. yeah straight up because yeah. you know it, now it's a thing and now because our little baby idea has now blossomed into like which is awesome which is why you want a manager which is why yes. like i mean we're listen to us we're very obviously super blessed to be in this position totally. mm -hmm. to, you know what i mean um but at the same time for us to give the fans the quality of music that they deserve we have to be able to do it the way that is like um conducive to the good art man and yeah, that's going to the mountains and drinking a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's drinking right. a lot and writing more songs. Hey, so eating at the best restaurants. He had a Rome. Rome booked the Airbnb, so he, he got a message. Yeah. He got a message from the uh, <laughs> the owners of the house, and it was, "How many people did you have here? I need to know." Because it update. said only it was said there was only going to be two people, and he just said uh, it was just two of us, but we had one other guy come, you know, uh, and they responded, "There's no way only three people drank this much." That's what they specifically said. That's so they, they were said. looking to There's no way that three people guys drink this much alcohol. Because <laughs> like, they what? charge per person for like the service fee. And they're like, yeah. what rugby team stayed here <laughs> with you guys? It was it was crazy. Oh, that's funny. But I mean, we were we were so working hard. Well, first off, this Dude, fucking yeah. house, false advertisement. We called it the house of no walls because they advertised it as three rooms. There was no rooms. No it room. was just three like lofty things. 
So when yeah. you're sleeping, uh, you can hear like, if someone in the other lofty room was scratching their leg, it sounded like you they were literally right next could to you, hear. you know? So there wasn't a lot of sleep going on. And it was like the second we woke up, we were fucking recording, writing until we just Back passed it. out. So it was just all day just writing and drinking, and that's pretty that's much all be. we fucking did. So it right? almost was good that there was no walls at force. It was... It was Kinda. almost like being on a tour. Kind. It was exactly like. It was. At least in the bus, you got that little. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't even. The thing is everything. Right Less that thing is the bus. everything, Dude, though. You feel like you're indestructible. It's that so fun. true. Oh, that yeah. little no fucking curtain, fight. man. Because as, as crazy and stupid and, and fucking drunk and wild as all of our friends are, nobody that I've ever heard of. I mean, I'm sure there's been some. I did it once. You did it? I did See, it it's very rare that and anyone violates the bus. Law and we've no. talked about the bus lots. When it's your bunk lot. little curtain is closed, you don't. No fuck one with shall enter. No. If you if you have your hand sticking out, as Cheese told us, or you know, yeah. Jared might put fair his dick. Yeah, fair game. Someone I opened LD's dick bunk in and I, I I was really drunk and I just LD? opened his bunk and I just put a bunch of chicken in there. Oh, oh. wait, he was in there. Yeah, he was in there. Damn, oh. LD. You got GTA sorry, for sublime with Rome. Damn, just getting chicken, chicken, chicken attack. The only time I've ever broken the rule. Chicken attack. I was so embarrassed. It's just like I just fucking. Did wow. the worst thing the next morning. It's like I'm so sorry about your bunk, man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> He's like, it's cool, bro. But yeah, <laughs> he's laid back. But yeah, dude, the the, the mountain trip was, than the was our thing, man. Like that was that was a big, big, big necessary trip for us. And mm -hmm. you know, I think the no wall having aspect did did contribute to it. But mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I guess it was it was a studio, really. It wasn't a three-bedroom. So we uh, tricked it so out. So it became a real studio. Yeah, shout out to Warm Audio. We had all their gear up in there, and we were able to... <sighs> we, like, rearranged the furniture. <laughs> we, brought, like, we brought, like, fucking patio furniture into the house. Oh, made shit. tables. Just, oh, like... Shit. And then just left it all. We cleaned, we cleaned up. We cleaned up. But we just, you know, like, we were fucking... We just and we and we're like, dude, we, we needed didn't, that. We didn't put everything back how it was. It like, had a meditation booth too, outside. Oh, it had its own little room with a window and, and a roof, and it sat in the sun. And you can just do like hot yoga in there or something. <laughs> what was the view like from outside? So dude, it was beautiful. It was it all trees? Mountains. So it yeah, looked yeah. like you couldn't oh, yeah. even see another property really. Right? Barely, yeah. 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 barely. Up to the top right, like behind us, you could, mm -hmm. but not from where we're looking out. Like you couldn't see any other property. And awesome. we came up with some badass music out we there. We did. We got, and then, yeah. honestly, like, and we got to talk about this. We got to talk about it, like, again, other than, like, being in the studio or, like, you know, when we birthed the idea, you know, because Duddy's busy as hell. He's got kids. I got kids. Like, mm -hmm. we got our things going on. So it's not like we're, you know, hey, bro, I'm going to roll through and blast a bong load today, you know? Like, I live in L.A. He lives in Orange County. So it's like, you know, for us, it was just important for us to even just be able to like yeah. look at each other and just talk about what yeah. the hell's about to go down you everything know? was changing and we and we kept getting booked for things while we were home for you know sublime with rome or dirty head so we just were having no time to get together no oh time yeah to write, nothing That's and, whole then, other thing. and then you know all the stone me thing happened with you know where it grew into this new project and the tour just started getting huge and we were just like holy crap man we got to go figure That's some so stuff fucking out funny <laughs> but the oh, music man. will always but the music yeah. will we'll always save, man. Music gets everyone excited. Yeah. You know? And we got some good music. And you guys yeah. came down from the mountain feeling like you had your head wrapped around this whole thing and you're ready to go? We did. We got to go up there. We got to clear our heads. We got to write some new music. We got to wrap our head around this. And I think that on the way down, you know, we both could say, like, we were feeling good. Oh, dude. Oh. Wow. Some were feeling better than others. Oh, I was <laughs> sitting there, and I'm like, I hope that he ties the And he nails oh. that shit. Oh. I wow. actually was feeling pretty bad on the way down. I threw out twice. But, um, oh, but he was like white. <laughs> oh, but yeah. that you're Air go it's up, going, it's air going go well down. <laughs> Volume up. Yeah. That's too loud. Uh, I got to pull over really quick. <laughs> but, uh, but I did. Oh. And speaking of feeling good. Our sponsors make you feel uh, good. Yes. Koi CBD. What an amazing product and amazing sponsor. They've literally been with us since day one, and they're still here. Um, we love this product. I use it every day still to this day. I use it first thing in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee just to get my day going. And lately, I have been playing way more guitar than like normal if that's even possible but with the rehearsing for this Roman Duddy tour and whatnot I've been playing a lot and it's been kind of cold at night around the houses so I've been starting to feel my uh 
my tendonitis in my wrist a lot. So I've been rubbing the bomb, the koi bomb on Best my thing wrist on every night. Best and thing on God, earth. it helps so much. It really, really does. So if you're someone out there who's got pains in their joints and whatnot, and you're just taking a lot of over counter, uh, over the counter pain meds, give CBD a try. I think you will love how it makes you feel and it's way more healthy for you anyway. Oh, dude, far more healthy. <laughs> Look, dude, you could take a bunch of pills or you could just take the bomb and rub it on your back, your knees, your ankles, whatever. I've been, I, I'm a barber. I stand up all day at work. My back hurts. I'll be like, babe, rub the koi on the back. Pain gone. And then I run a lot now, too. I've been rubbing it on my calves after every run. Yeah. Pain gone. Pain no gone. pills. Best thing ever. Koi. You heard it here, people. KoiCBD.com. Type in code DuddyB at checkout and you will get 20% off your order. That's right. Yee! Also, on it, another amazing sponsor. What? what? These drops are coming in late. Like, I touch it and then there's a second delay and mm. it's really making me pissed. But I'll figure it out. Well, maybe you should take some CBD. It'll, oh. help, calm, it'll help calm you down. See that? I pressed that oh. way earlier than that. All right. I'll need some koi for that. I'll rub some <laughs> bomb on it. But yes, on it, uh, another great sponsor and another great company, and that's on it with two N's, O N N I T. They have so many great products, so many great supplements. Whatever you're looking for, I guarantee they got it. If you're someone who works out a lot, someone who's running a lot, like Jake, they've got so many things. To, like, uh, the, what, have you been using that electrolyte powder at all? I use the electrolyte powders every time I run, and there's yep. like their pre-workout. And then I use the glutamine. So the my freaking bones don't hurt, dude. My go-tos are the obviously the Alpha Brain. We talk about it all the time. I love the Alpha Brain product. Oh, yeah. It definitely helps you know keep you sharp. It help sharp? Did I say sharp? Uh -oh. It helps keep you sharp. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. In the, uh, <laughs> but no, it keeps you sharp, and uh, it really does help with your memory. I've been noticing that I, I remember people's names now. Oh, that's right. Like Robert. <laughs> Robert. See? Boom. Look you guys, if you're listeners, you know who Robert is from you several fucking. It. I know his name now. Forever. Yep. I do. So, yeah. Go to onit.com. That's O-N-N-I-T. And if you forward slash Duddy there, you will get 10% off your order. Boom. Woo! <laughs> I pressed it early, so it landed on oh, time right nice, there. See? I was nice. fucking I foresight with the old drop a Dude. So, we'll have to get the drop, people. On that. We are going to move forward. Oh, okay. So this is a new segment. We've got a brand new segment that I had no idea and Duddy brought it to my just, attention. Just thought about it really as we were sitting here with Rome. Uh, and so my son, Jack, a um, lot of you know, you know, I have kids and my, I have a son named Jack and he's just freaking hilarious. And sometimes he'll just throw out these quotes and, and they're just fucking amazing. And he's dead serious and, and they almost make sense sometimes, but Today's Jack quote is, we decided on, this is the one we're going to go with today. He threw this out here. What does this mean? He said, on a scale of one to 10, how many people do this? Respond in the comments. Think about it. He was doing something like, like crazy, you know, like that he thought like, this is wild, you know, how a scale of one to 10, dad, how many people do this? It, it really makes you look at it. It makes you, know, you want to answer. Oh, you're like you're seven. Like, Wait, what? How many people? I love and how would like I that. scale oh, that? So good. It's a conundrum. It is. So that is on a scale of one Jack. We're gonna get a drop for this? that. We're gonna get a drop for that. Uh, oh that yeah. Segment. All right. That's but it. um. All right. <laughs> hey, look, it, <laughs> came, it, it came out of nowhere, and and there it is. But you guys will be pondering that in the shower later. Don't act like you won't. One more time. On a scale of one to ten, how many people do this? Answer below. Yeah. Answer below. If you think you know, hit us up. Um. All right. So. Rome. Yeah. You got a weird tweet. Do you want to share it? I a weird tweet. You yeah. know what? Okay, wait. Can you send the image of the tweet in, like, we need you to you send it. You can airdrop it. that over to Taylor, probably. Tay Tay or somebody or Sugi, come in here. Airdrop we need to, We need you to get this image from Rome's phone because he got a weird tweet as we were sitting here, I think, wasn't it? And we're And it's almost like a Jack quote where we're not sure quite how to take this tweet. <laughs> it seems so like it's positive, up. kind of, but I don't think right, so. On. I'm not sure. You can come in, Sugi, or whoever needs to come in here and make it happen. Hold on. Let me get a pray for you guys. Look, so yes. I'm very active on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, at Roman Marius. Um, I respond to everybody. We need you to get an oh, image wait, no. from his phone so you can put it up on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to text it, or, or I can airdrop it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bluetooth's on. The yes. I love Bluetooth. Do, All right. do you see the computer in there? What's the computer called? The computer, 
or that's a this question. is awesome for the listeners. Yeah, this is really invigorating. Re-amp this is good. This reamp, is good. reamp. You see that? Mm, so if for everyone listening, you'll have to yes. go to YouTube to re-amp see this. Reamp MacBook Pro. Yeah, go to YouTube and you'll be able to see the photo that we're about to be talking about. We'll describe so it. For my you. phone's dying. So uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. I got a text message today. All there right, it here it is. So read here. We'll put the uh, picture up for the YouTube people to see. And Rome, <laughs> Rome, let's read this. This from at seventy eight tattooed. I was at the beach my last day in Cali. I went to watch the sunset. I thought of you and picked up this trash while waiting on the sun. Hmm. So and it looks like a little urinal. So yeah, yeah. she added Rome, and she said she was. Or is it a she? We don't it's really she. know. It's a she. I think. I was at the beach my last day in Cali. I went to watch the sunset. I thought of you and picked up this trash while waiting on the sun. It's beautiful. It's a picture of trash in the sand. Next to that. <laughs> it, like a, it, what is the potty pan? So if you guys can imagine, uh, you, you know, it's just a shot like someone standing there and they just pointed their, their camera right down at the sand. The sand is wet, so she's obviously right down by where the water comes up and then dissipates, leaving wet sand. There looks It looks like a bedpan. It looks There's like so a, many like, questions. Like if you were in the Civil War, you'd take a shit into this and then hand it to the doctor. But why at the beach? I don't know. What kind of man and comes then, to the beach and just throws that in the sand? Yeah, yeah not no, a, that I don't know. That came from from a boat or yeah, some weird Yeah, that washed up from a sunken <laughs> Someone threw that over. Yeah. Someone blew that thing out and threw it overboard. Uh, and then but, there's just a pile of like circuitry or something. Can you get, zoom in on that? What, what is that? But, <laughs> yeah, what the? I don't get we it. need that FBI clear image. Why did she think of you though when she saw the trash? I don't know. I, I think maybe she's. It's it, a subtle diss. It like is a subtle. Is it? It's, it's subtle disrespect. You are trash. I will never <laughs> know ever if this person hates you or. But is a I'll big take fan. it. I'm gonna take it as as a positive because she cleaned up the beach. Yes, I love it. unless she just took a picture of trash. Have you like? like uh, I thought of you. Huh. Have you tweeted about or been vocal about cleaning up the beach and shit? I have not. Okay. Yeah, I have not. I, sh- I should. Are you? A, do you but go on anti litter rants on Twitter? You've not never. this guy. No, not the, no. no, not you. Mm. I, and I, perhaps what she's doing is reverse engineering the equation. I'm going to get Rome to talk about shit like this. And we are working via his platform. And now it's on my friend's platform. Hey, people, Tattoo if you're out there heart. walking at the beach, clean the fart beach. If you're out there walking at the beach and you see trash, just pick it up. Pick it up. Well, firstly, pick think, it up think and of tag Rome. Rome Ramirez. Take a picture of <laughs> yeah. it first. Tag Rome. <laughs> How about this? Anybody out there in the world, wherever, not even at the beach, if you see trash on the ground, take a picture of it. Tag Rome oh my and God. throw that fucking trash away. This reminds me of... Oh, um, <laughs> dude, I'm just going to get my Twitter's going to blow <laughs> up of just trash. Dude, coming to America. Up, dude, we're going to clean up so much trash. What do you think of trash? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. The best. When you think of trash, you think of Rome. <laughs> and if you do that, <laughs> I'll send you some good vibes. Oh, I thought you were going to say, oh, woo! We just fucking... Was that me and you just doing dude, that? Oh, my God. Three, two, woo. one. Woo! Rome, join us. Three, two, oh, one. Baritone. Woo! Oh, oh my nice. goodness gracious. Hope when you, you think of trash. All right, dude. Moving that. right on. All right, let's get into my new favorite segment. Oh, this segment is just taking the world by storm, and it is... Good song. Have you ever been scared? Welcome to the Scary Zone. <laughs> Today on the Scary Zone, Rome Ramirez has a blood curdling tale. Go ahead, Rome. Well, it's only scary because it's real. Ooh, even better. Like, it's not like one time. If it was fake, we would ask you not to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Scary Zone, motherfucker. Real shit. One time I was, uh, I was, I got gifted the Harry Potter, uh, the first Harry Potter book Very from scary book. from from scary. my uncle, extremely scary from uh, my my uncle for Christmas and um, the song is such a good man um, <laughs> and I was like reading the book and then I had to go take a shower, so I closed the book and I put it on on top of my bed and I went and took a shower and then when I came out of the shower. And I started to open my door and I looked on top of the on top of my bed and the book just closed like that. 
Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Have you ever been scared? I was scared. Welcome to the scary zone. That's a good right. one, dude. Did you ever reopen that book and read it? Fuck no. I gave that shit to my mom. I said, I'm not reading this book anymore. <laughs> and I seriously, oh I haven't. God. No Harry Potter, nothing. Oh I haven't seen God. a movie. I haven't. Uh, did you even I did go to, to Harry Potter where you got to Hogwarts? Did you ever get No, to no, no, no. Dude, I, this was like, it? I just cracked the book oh. open. I was just like thumbing through it. Like, am I going to read this? You've never seen a Quidditch match? Nope. Oh. Nope. But I, I did go to the. Oh. the never met Dobie? The oh. Harry, <laughs> you know the Harry Potter exhibit? At the at um, in LA, Disneyland? Universal or whatever? Universal. Universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it's cool. That shit is wild. You Dude, went? Yeah. That's cool. You never and you saw know what's so thing? funny? I don't know jack shit. I'm walking around there and I'm like, I wouldn't know a thing. Like, But it's still that's all kinda cool. probably rad. Though. It's just whatever it you want It just looks to be. insane. I'm just like, this is did so it, well did done. Did it bring you back to that day? I got a little freaked out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I wonder you saw if they that they were selling made... books that open and close. I was going like, to say, oh, like, do they have a make a Harry Potter book that that's what it does? It's supposed to look like it's magic, dude. Or... I've told that to people, and they've always been like, "Oh, I'm sure the window was open." I'm like, "It's fucking winter. Who sleeps with the? I, it was Christmas time. I don't All sleep right, with the window. Dude, what type of windows blowing that type? How of How you gonna blow a hard book, a hard hard shell cover? Like, I ain't never seen wind in my house blow that hard. Now it's gonna blow a book closed. Yeah. Maybe a couple pages will in fly place. Over. If you opened your door and it, and a wind gust was blowing through, you would have answered the ghost question there. So obviously there was exactly. no wind. It wouldn't. Yeah, you'd have been like, "Oh, the wind." My, my mom didn't believe me. No, nobody believes me. Still to this day, no one believes me. Damn. We believe you here Thank at the you. With Daddy <laughs> Show. We believe you. Know. We believe your scary story. Listeners, and comment also... below. Do you believe Rome? <laughs> We believe your scary story, and we also believe that you have shit your pants before. Yeah. Well, uh, well we well, got a yes. for that. You shit your pants? Well, multiple times, well, but fucking let me this set is you a good, up. This is a good one. Is that you two? That one was oh. me. Yeah. Wow, you guys are getting voice good with work. the audio. <laughs> <laughs> if you I need a turn-of-the-century train conductor, hit me up. So this uh, specific story... Um, all right. Well, this specific one was back when um, we were we were all together in the van, coming back from like a promo radio run when Lay Me Down was at the radio. So a this specific one that means there's poo, multiple dudes. Oh, yeah. there I'll was come a back. Secret right? poo. A secret poo, Duddy. You don't know about this? Poo? No. This was uh, this was okay. So we Lay we were down? all we we all took some acid and some mushrooms. Uh, and and we stayed at this hotel or this motel called the Madonna I Inn. Know about oh, this. we talked about this last time you were here, but we talked about a different story. Different yeah, story, this... same night. No, I love that. Whole this other room. This Whole was... other room. Oh my this is god! This is one of the wildest days. nights of days my life. Days and nights. This days and day nights. started at ten a.m. Was that but the yeah. same day as the? Yes. Oh my. God. That was Wowzers. We, earlier this day is when me and Rome slept in an alley. Yeah. So because we we had started at ten. We took a nap in an alley, kept going, and then ended up at the Madonna Inn. Continue. So I love, yeah, I love this. So you, this will be your third story that Rome has, is sharing with us that are all on the same day. <laughs> oh set, this is great. This is a this wild is day. So all right, bad. back at the Madonna Inn. <laughs> so Let's we're back in a, in a different time. Uh, this is after, this is just after like the blowout last night. Um, you know, me and, and the sound guy for DH at the time, Matt, we were, we had a conjoined room, so we were like swapping all the fixtures from one room to the other room. So we were just all high on like fucking uh, shrooms and acid. And then the next morning, I woke up and I was like, "Dude, I just gotta like cleanse my body." You know what I mean? <laughs> so I I go and I hop in the shower, and right before I hop in the shower, I'm like, "You know what? I'm just gonna fart. Fuck it." <laughs> and it. All just came no. out, all over the tile. So when people watch scary movies and they see like somebody like hacking up a body and they're like cleaning <laughs> it all up on the floor, they're all thinking to themselves like, oh shit, like there's blood, that's scary, what would I do, blah, 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 blah. Every time I watch a movie and I see someone just cleaning up blood on the floor, I'm like, 
the Madonna Inn. Oh, man. The Madonna Inn. I mean, dude, it was just wiping and no, it was just going just nowhere. Just frantically. Just going every just going dude. Nowhere. I was like, I never picture this that because you were just about to jump in the shower, so you were doing this naked. I'm naked, dude. <laughs> oh. I'm naked. He's on the floor. He's like, no, 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 no. Literally, no, literally, no, I'm going, no, 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 no. And then the toilet paper won't do it at that point. You just have to grab the towels. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. I got everything in sight. <laughs> everything in sight, dude. Oh, and I remember. Oh, naked rose. I just wrote, Let's like, I'm it. so sorry. And I, I just put, like, the only toilet books I have. Did you write it in sorry. poop? Oh, I got so bad on the window. I'm so <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> just, I'm so sorry. I, I left I'm a 20. I'm sorry. I left a, tw a 20. is not going to come. No. Through. That's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and anyone who's done like mushrooms knows, like dude, you get like that get next that. day. You got like mushrooms. You got the bubble yeah, guts you hard. Bubbleies, dude. Um, that's why I don't even. I mean, well, I got fucking kids now. It's impossible to do drugs, but <laughs> like shrooms no, do specifically, them, man. Like shrooms are like they always just really hurt my tummy, man. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I liked it at the very end. It was like. Because every time I would do I want that drop. It always hurt my tummy. It just hurt my tummy, it's man. My tub, dude. I swear to God, boo, they, well, my tummy just gets all hurt when <laughs> I do that. That was like so sincere. That. It just hurts my tummy. It does. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Drink 7 Up. <laughs> So that was a good one. I got to be real with you, Daddy. When I do mushrooms, it, it just hurts that little tum-tum. It -tum. hurts my tums, bro. Oh, I'll never get over That's a fucking thank you for some Ooh. good stories. Dude, I feel like anybody who goes on the road would have good pooper stories. Honestly. Oh, yeah. oh dude, like, so many poops. How, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how many dudes and bands do we know who just had just crucial blowouts, you know? I mean, this this show has showed us, if anything that Feeling Good with Duddy has showed, if if anything that's come out of the show, it's shown that everyone would just be shitting themselves everywhere, whether Bro, they're in a band or I'm not. I'm telling you, look, I've worked, <laughs> like, everyone but Duddy. If we've learned anything, yeah, right. if we've learned anybody, anything, if we've learned dude, anything. Just people just be shitting themselves everywhere, and they just want to tell us. Oh, why? Dude. I love it though. Thanks, Cheese, That's for starting good. that on episode one. That was his doing, huh? Cheese told He's, the, poop, I mean, the classic he, poo he story. He would be the dude to do it. And then, and then he shits himself like just... what once a month or some shit. Oh yeah, all the time. Bro. He's like He's proud. probably shitting himself right. He now. is. He's <laughs> listening. He shit. Cheese I'll told the shit story on episode <laughs> one, and it's just been a mudslide ever since. <laughs> man. It's a real mud. Dude. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh dude. what else? Is that it? Anything else? Shit, dude. What else so we got going? let's just wrap it up with, dude. I mean, unless you got anything else, Rome, Duddy, anything else you want to probe Rome about? Is he's open. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to stick, open, I don't wanna stick anything around. You know? So I guess you know, you guys. When so, you guys yeah. are on tour right now, when people listen to this episode, it will be the first day. It will be February twenty sixth. It will be Wednesday, and you guys will be in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Twenty sixth. Yeah, right. twenty sixth well, of February. So hopefully, the, a music video will be out in two days. Are you serious? The Speaking 28th? in future sense. In future days. So, oh. so the 28th then you're saying? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. This <laughs> Friday, Friday get done. we listen on yeah. Wednesday Yeah, so at 26th? this Airbnb, you know, we were there and we we decided to, to – dude, they had like this sick Airstream, which again, to ding this Airbnb, yeah. they put the Airstream in – I mean, I feel like you can just find the fucking Airstream now, or the Did Airbnb you stay now. in a studio but room or the Airstream? I was the Airstream was on that. the property. It was on the property. And it was they a made, double it, and they like made it, it seem. came with it, and you can go in it and hang in there. Nah. Not the case. What? You had to was, pay extra for that. Which was the same price as the the A-frame building. So it's just there and the locked. Yeah. Uh -huh. And dope looking, because you guys dope took a picture in front of it. Bro, we shot a video. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. So, so we lied just fucking, about the rooms, mm -hmm. accused you of bringing in a rugby squad, mm -hmm. and then lied about the Airbnb. The Airstream. Yeah. So you could see where, where, where we were at. When she said, how many people were here? She said, how many people told you this was fucking three bedrooms? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's figure this out. Dude. So anyway, but all was well. You guys yeah. did the best. Dude, you guys shot a music video. video. It's beautiful. So Try as it. people listen to this, Wednesday the 26th, Friday the 28th, the video shall drop. I haven't even seen it. All right, hopefully. You, are you going to see well, it? Well, I haven't seen it either. No, I'll never just, watch that shit. It, no? it's, it's just... <laughs> It's just us playing guitar in front of Airstream, but it looks cool. But it's edited and cut up you know, and the song's dope. It's all like, whew, and, it's song, and then it goes over to Duddy, and then... And then he's playing, and then fucking... Well, I mean, that's what it should be. Anyway. Yeah. Dude, so there you go. So, hey, everybody. They weren't going to tell us that, I guess. Glad we shoehorned that out of you guys that. on the way. Duddy no. didn't even know <laughs> his own Video is coming out. I don't even know what I'm playing on this tour yet. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Twenty-six, dude. right? That's yeah. what we well, there's nothing to do. Oh, you guys got to well, get out of here. Oh start, yeah. Well, oh, we you, can also say that you know. Oh yeah, no, that's tonight. What is the show? The show. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's tonight. As people listen to this we'll episode, see it tonight. Or, or Albuquerque, or would it be last night? No, no it's tonight. tonight. No, it's tonight. Tonight. So you're you guys confused. drop in the morning. You're confusing yes. the listener. Oh, okay. okay. Everyone's okay. confused. It's tonight. No. Okay. Dude, I'm doing this to you, motherfuckers, right here. All right. Well, yeah, it's it's over. It's over. It's it. Thank you so much. For tuning in. Again, Thank always thanks to everyone over here at Reamp Studios. Big shout out to uh, Surf Roots Radio. Yeah, <laughs> Surf Roots. Fucking daddy fucking over here. brain farted. I need more alpha He's brain. He's so scared about Thank the Thank you tour. guys for all the love that they've been giving us. And uh, also, cutlessbrand.com. We just got some new, uh, we got a new line out right oh, now. I want you got to go there, check out the new gear. And as always, if you put in code feeling good at checkout, you're going to get... 20% off that order. That's right. You. Yeah. Wow, so generous. Also, go to uh, the Rome and Duddy uh, Friends and Family Tour friends dot, and com. Family, uh, dot com. You can go there. Also, we have the. You just. He cut me off. I was yeah. going to say the <laughs> Rome and Duddy Instagram page. Oh, yeah, yeah. At Rome and Duddy. You can go follow us there for all, all news all and whatnot. Updates. And uh, live shenanigans. Else. And that's it. Fucking catch Rome on Twitter. Again, if you're listening to this yeah. and, you're, and enjoying the show. Tag me in trash. Leave us a comment. Uh, give us a review. It really helps us, you know, get noticed more with the algorithms and whatnot and helps to keep the show going. Also, we do have a Patreon page. Oh. Uh, Patreon forward slash Duddy. You yeah. can go there for all sorts of behind the scenes comment. Uh, videos and whatnot and if you are a patreon member already we know we've been lagging a bit lately we are very sorry we're gonna get going on that again adding all sorts of new stuff i'll probably be adding some stuff from this tour on there probably all right we got 52 seconds left of this song did anything else you want to slide in no nah, uh, pick up trash on the beach oh there you go tag rome when you think of trash tag think of rome think of think of rome Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was fucking rad. That was super fun. It's <laughs> nice and loose, baby. Nice and loose. I gotta fuck with these things though, because when I press it, there's like a second and then it's latency. I'm like, what's that all about?